The other thing is that the Stella was really created for people with type 2 diabetes, not on insulin, people with prediabetes, and even for people with obesity who are really looking to understand what's going on with their blood sugars and learn from the trends. And so it also has kind of this whole back back end of information to teach you. So let's say you have a spike, you know that it came after a meal. There's a section you can click on and read an article about what types of foods are more likely to cause spikes. Now this doesn't translate exactly to someone on insulin and specifically not someone with type one diabetes on insulin, but it's helpful. It's still useful information. There is some overlap, although it's not exclusive. And so that's interesting. And I think really nice for someone if they wanted to learn a little bit more about how food impacts their body or a little bit more about nutrition, how exercise can impact their body, hydration, et cetera. It's got a lot of educational material in the app where the blood sugar is. And I, I think that's really, really nice. And I think that people who do use that could get a lot of benefit from it.